four Callaway players irons available to be fit here by second swing in 2021. We're gonna test all four of them out together against one another and see how they perform. Hey golfers, Drew Mahold and Thomas Campbell here from Second Swing Golf. Outside today at the driving range, spring is finally here in Minnesota and although it's pretty cold out here, uh, we're barely reaching 40 degrees, but we're outside hitting golf balls today. We've got a fun iron test today. Uh, Callaway Players Irons available in 2021. Four models here today. Um, I've got Thomas Campbell with me, of course, playing Callaway Irons in the past. So Thomas, you know a little bit about uh, what, we're, what we're testing here today. So what do you think we're gonna see and what exactly are the models today? Yeah, so all four models that we're about to test, I have highly considered to put in my bag, whether that be through a combo set or even playing them all the way through. But we have a new one to add. So we originally have tested three. So we originally tested the X-Forge CB, the Apex MB, and the Apex Pro 21. Now we have the Callaway Apex TCB. So a lot of fitters have actually making fun of me here. Callaway Apex TCB saying TCB stands for Thomas Campbell Blade. Well, I just had to get them. So I ended up ordering these clubs here. Um, I think I might even play them all the way through because these are some beauties. Right, so Thomas, you've got, you've got the four models here. Um, what's the format of our test today to make sure we're doing this, you know, as we would generally compare the clubs and make sure we got a good test here? Yeah, I mean, we'll hit several shots with each one here, comparing outside using premium golf balls out on the range using TrackMan. It is cold, so I'm not expecting me to swing at my normal club speed close to 88, 90 miles an hour normally. Uh, also, because we're hitting outside here too, the, the temperature will may not go quite as far, but it's going to be still a very fair test under the elements and on the golf course you play under the elements so for me I want to see which one feels the best and which one's performing the best. All right well you ready to get after it here? Let's hit some shots. That's it pretty solid. 85 miles an hour. Ooh interesting. That Same thing that's what we've seen in the past is it's just sp spun too lo low. But With that club? Yeah. Okay, Thomas, X-Forge CB, that was five shots there. Uh, first impression, I know you've, you've hit the club before, but yep. what do you think about that look and feel? Yeah, I mean, it feels incredibly soft off the club face. It feels really good. I mean, all these irons do feel really good. Um, mm -hmm. For me, I was having a little hard time, and I think we actually when we did the test originally with a little lower spin and pulling a little bit more with this, with this club. That's the only thing I kind of noticed there is mm -hmm. spin rate, was maybe a little more on the low side. We haven't tested the other ones yet, but I'm gonna expect the others may spin a little bit more. Okay, yeah, yeah I mean, cause you're, well, your dispersion, all the shots are a little bit left of center. Yep, um, and, and we then, have some wind out of the right right now that's pushing it, so it's exaggerating a little right, bit more. Right, yeah, yeah, but, uh, but then, you know, the spin, like you said, a little bit lower, right, right about 5,500 on average, so. A um, couple interesting notes there. We'll kind of keep that moving forward as we, um, we'll go to Apex Pro 21 here. All right, sounds good. Sounded a little loud, louder to me. Yeah, I didn't hit that one as solid, but yes, a lot louder. And it didn't feel as soft either. All right, Thomas, that was Apex Pro 21. Um, I noticed a larger difference, like a, I mean, it was loud sound um, yeah. versus the x Ford CB. Um, I'm, I don't want to say clicky, but it was definitely kind of more noticeable of, of a noise coming off the club face. Yeah, it was definitely louder. I will say I absolutely love the feel much better with the x Forge CB over the Apex, okay. uh, Apex Pro, but I feel like I hit the Apex Pro straighter and a little higher. Mm -hmm. That you was did. one thing I kind of noticed. Even yeah. though it didn't maybe feel as good, it did perform pretty well. And I could definitely play these in the top part of my bag, like a four or five iron. Mm -hmm. um, but in my scoring clubs, it, it just didn't feel as soft as, say, the X-Forged yeah. felt. It's not the feel you're looking for from your scoring clubs, what yep. you're saying. Um, but I will note, spin went up about 400 RPM, and then you mentioned height, uh, so I want to compare that. That's about 10 feet higher as well. So, okay. And then, of course, a straighter dispersion as well. So, good, I mean, good performing club. Yeah. You know, I think for you, it's just more of the, the feel part of it. Yeah, I was I was definitely hitting the Apex Pro better. I think numbers-wise was better, but the X-Forged CB just... It just is mm -hmm. a more traditional feel that I've had out of a forged iron. Yeah. Is how it felt. Okay. Well, 
we can go to now Apex 21 MB. Okay, sounds good. Hmm. The look has definitely changed. Looks really good, a really good blade anyway. I feel like this has got to be close to like Ping Blueprint almost. It's not quite as small, but it's... Blueprint is tiny. It's, that thing's it's small. small. I mean, I have my old Apex MB blade here, and if I'm looking down at the two of them, this new Apex MB definitely has a little thinner top line versus the, the old really going, 18. They're really going player's blade yeah. there. This is definitely a player's blade, absolutely, looking down at it. Yeah, so, looks good. Let's see how it performs. Uh, felt that one at 40 degree temperature. It's a <laughs> little say, bit low on the grooves. a tiny, thin, tiny bit thin, <laughs> but. Went straight, but yeah, just about half a groove too low on that shot. Tendency so far, I think it's, as we've been going, you know, with each club you're hitting the ball more right. Yeah, so and I, it could be also me reacting a little bit, knowing the wind's there in the first, yeah. first few shots, it was kind of really taking it. I me mean, wanting to not have it go left every single time. But that felt so good. Looks good too, right at the target. Yeah, yeah. I will say so far, this has felt like the most pure feeling club. Yeah, yeah. which kind of to be expected a little yeah. bit. Thomas Apex MB. 21. Um, as you were saying before, extremely small, compact club head, thin yep. top line, thin sole, thin everything. Um, and you also commented that that was the most pure feeling iron so far. So, I mean, what do you think about that one? Yeah, it absolutely was the purest feel off the face. Now, as I mentioned, shot one, I got about a groove, about a half a groove too mm -hmm. low on the, on the face. And it didn't didn't maybe feel the best on my, on my fingers when it's only 40 degrees out. Yeah. Um, but other than that, we, we know a blade, you're going to get what you're going to get. Yeah. So I'm not going to get any flyers with it. I think, you know, you mentioned I was swinging about 88 miles an hour every, every time on, on that swing. Um, yeah. It just, it felt good. I feel like I, it did what I wanted to do. Yeah. yeah. You got your, your carry distance for the first four shots was all within four yards, 177.6, 181, 178.2. 177.3 and then the last one went at 184 with a little bit more of a draw to it but that's what you're talking about with these blades is you know if you hit the ball solid you're going to get very repeatable performance out of them yep. so um, that's good to know but now we can get to this kind of this new addition here the TCB the Apex TCB that stands for Tour Cavity Back uh, or Thomas Campbell Blade depending on uh, who you are <laughs> but um, interesting here this will be I'm curious to see how this performs against these. Yeah, it's uh, so it's gonna be. It is available to to be, to be fitted or to be purchased through Callaway. I believe it's not on Callaway's website, so you won't see it if you go on Callaway's website to see it. But you can order it. Mm -hmm. um, I believe the reason is because they probably have a limited supply, yeah. and they don't want everyone to go and kind of go buy it. But I know originally it was going to be just a European market club, and then it was going to be Xforge is going to be the the club in the. Uh, US and then they've got the Apex TCCB and then they had a, a lot of people asking about it. Yeah. And I mean, when you see, you know, John Rahm, Xander Shoffley, their big yep. Callaway names put it in the bag, um, then they, you know, people get curious. And so that's the Apex TCB here. I'm, uh, I was one of them. I got very curious. And like I said, I had to, I had to order them because I was like, you know, I, I want to try, I want to try these out and see how they feel. Well, let's, let's see, hit some shots here. All right. Oh, that felt really good. Yeah. Soft, really good. It was a slight little miss hit, so I want to see how this one works out. I feel like I didn't quite catch it. That felt good. Okay, so Thomas, you've completed, you know, 20 shots now, five with each of the iron models. That was Apex TCB. First of all, you know, compare that now to the previous three that you hit look and feel um, and kind of what your first impressions are. Yeah, I mean, it's it's in between uh, the X-Forge CB and the MB with regards to looks okay. at appearance. I mean, you can see on the back, it's got the, the plate, the swing weight and plate essentially. Mm -hmm. uh, so it looks like the X-Forge CB, but it is smaller for yeah. sure. It's definitely a little smaller club head, especially from like, it's kind of like heel to toe is where I see it. So for me, looking down at the club, I can notice with the X-Forge CB that it looks a little bit larger. So it's going to be kind of a little bit more forgiving. This kind of looks like the old uh, MB. 
So like okay. the, the older version of the Apex MB to me, just with uh, here more forgiveness. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Um, I mean, quick look at the numbers. Really, there's kind of the standout in terms of spin was the X4CB was just lower by three to four hundred RPM across the board. Yep. But and that's yeah. important because we do want to talk about the specs a little bit with the irons too. Yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, I guess we can clarify, you know, loft and, and things like that yep. here. What do we got? Yeah, so X-Forged CB and the Apex Pro, both 33 degrees of loft on the 7-iron. Okay. And then the other two, the Apex MB and the Apex TCB Forged, they're both 34 degrees of loft on, that, on the 7-iron. Okay. So you'd expect those to maybe spin a little bit more. Yeah. The interesting one, again, is the Apex Pro because it seemed like it was flying a little higher and spinning a little bit more, even mm -hmm. though it had less lap on it. So the Apex Pro is interesting, like you said, because it spun the most of the four models here. Not, not by a lot, but it spun the most and flew the highest. So that's the interesting note to, to take away here for at least for Apex Pro, despite the fact that it might be a little bit lower loft. Yeah. Uh, it's still flying the highest. Yeah. What about uh, carry distance? I know we were swinging at probably about 86 to 88 miles an hour with each mm -hmm. one, so it was maybe getting a little warmer after hitting the uh, the x Forge CB, but I'm guessing with the less spin with the x Forge right. CB, even though it wasn't swinging as fast, it's probably went, probably went a little further. Yeah, so the x Forge CB actually carried the farthest. Okay. Um, the only one over 180 yards at 181.2. And then you have, next in line was Apex MB, 179.6, followed by Apex Pro 21, 177, and then the TCB at 174.8. So yeah. I know maybe one of those TCB shots in there may have been a little bit uh, of a miss hit kind of skewing that a little bit. As you can see on the map here on the left, there's one that carried about 167 yards. Yeah, there was one that was but, a uh, little bit of a miss hit. So that but. might have skewed it a little bit, but I mean, overall, you know, this dispersion map, by the way, people can see this, like it's, you kind of got the X4 CB with kind of all on the left, but otherwise they're all kind of right around that target line. Yeah, they all felt good. I think for me, the biggest thing, and I think a lot of players, the biggest thing is, is the feel differences. That's why it's important to come on and get fit and figure out which one obviously looks good, which one feels good, and which one performs with regards to the data too, because everyone's going to deliver the club differently as well. Yeah. So I would say for sure um, the forged feel that you, you get out of the, the TCB, how do you get X Forged CB and the Apex MB, they feel incredibly good. The Apex Pro is a little firmer, a little louder feeling. Um, for me, as I mentioned, I was going to do like a Apex Pro 456 combo set with the Apex MB 7 through wedge. I'm still contemplating that option, but now I'm also contemplating the option of the Apex TCB. I probably would still throw the Apex Pro in my longer iron, maybe like a four iron, okay. and maybe play all these way through too. So still trying to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> the nice thing is it's still the beginning of the golf season for me and trying to figure those, those out too. And we're only just outside now in Minnesota too, so I can get a little testing done. But I mean, you've got so many different options, so many different players' options by Callaway. I think this is a good, good way to kind of compare them and talk about the differences between all the four different irons. Yeah, I, I was going to say that. You know, they have four players' irons available, so they, they're covering any type of like kind of better player. You know, the consistent ball strikers out there, they're they're covering you. They they have an option for every player up there, so. Um, that's something to note, and I think you know they have, for example, the players that might spin it a lot and miss right with an open club face, like myself. The X4 CB seems like it'd be a fit for those players, uh, just based on our testing here. So, and then you've got all the different types of feel, sound, etc. There as well, which is a big thing, obviously, for some of these consistent players. So, Callaway Irons, Thomas. Um, this is a good test here. I know it's our first one outside for the year. Uh, a little chilly out here, but um, yep. it, it worked out, and I think we got some good results. Yeah, first time hitting off grass this year in Minnesota. It's uh, it was a good test.